Hey, what's up, guys? Like, ain't nothing for you here, and today I'm going to be playing Pokemon. Not Pokemon. Just an old habit of saying. Today I'm going to be playing Pokemon Red. Today I'm going to be playing Super Mario World. In the last episode, we beat uh, the sixth world, Chocolate Island, and today we are going to be going on to Star World. So this is Star World 1. So I told you the gimmick of Star World in the last episode with the with the exits and that. So first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting the normal exit. So normal exit, you're just going to normally just go down through these blocks. It's going to be a pain in the ass because it takes forever, but it's well, it doesn't really take that long, like the heart levels, but it's pretty annoying. Just going to go over to the side. It's easier on the side. It takes a really long time for this path to build, though. Like, the, uh, the secret exit is going to be much easier. Here's where it starts getting easier, slightly. Yeah, as soon as I say that it's starting to get easier, I get hit. Great, we're back to this where we have, where we can't fall, we have to make a path. That takes forever. hard it's just specifically the hard because on the Game Boy I don't have to reach an extra inch to play. It'd be so much more convenient if um down and right were the, uh, were the controls instead of minus and down. Then I wouldn't have to reach all the way across. Yeah I think I will take this. So for the secret exit on the you want to be all the way on the right. And when you fall, you're just going to fall and then you want to keep being all the way on the right. Or a few from the right is okay. You don't have to be all the way. As long as you get into here and then you just pick up the key and bring it. And that would lead us to the second level. And world 3 if we were doing this without getting all those exits. But before I go to there, I'm just going to go and get a power up because like some it's not all of these levels that are short and simple like this. Some of them are actually levels levels. Like the fourth and fi um the first level is like that weird gimmick th thing. It's really weird and short. So is the third level, but the fourth and fifth ones are actual levels. Uh, the second one, it's not weird, like the uh, uh, weird short, like the first and second, like the first and third ones, but it's not exactly your average level. Like, it is, but it's way too short for, ne for a normal level. And that's why they put it in Star World. So the, uh, this one has a really simple normal exit and secret exit. Normal exit, you just have to keep going to the right, swimming around the fish. Very simple, just dodge the fish and get, uh, and get to the pipe at the end of the level, you're good. But the secret exit, it's a little bit different than that. It's not necessarily hard, but it's different. It's not one of those horrible hard secret exits, but it's hidden. I'll, I'll tell you that. It's very well hidden. Unless you're, a, unless you're a developer's mistake hunter like I am. That's how I found it. And like by complete accident. I was just looking for where that would take me and it took me to the secret exit. Should've known. 
Alright, so for the secret exit, you're going to keep going to the right, just as if you're going for the normal exit. But you're not, you're going for the secret exit. So keep going to the right. Wow, I'm making pretty good timing. Keep going to the right until you get to a little bit further. Keep going. And right about here. Right when you get to the pipe. I'm just gonna get that for fun. Instead of going instead of going through the pipe, you're going to go underneath all of this and then just follow this path instead and it's just going to take you to the key and then the keyhole and a dead end and that takes you to the third level which is frankly very very weird it's also very easy because right here's the goal pole That's already the third level done. Except we still need to get the secret exit. This one's annoying. You could get into the Lack Kiddo, but that's a pain in the ass, so no. There we go. You just gotta get up here. Normally you're supposed to get into the Lack Kiddo. But I don't want to. And that's how you get that one. And that'll just take you to Star World 4. This area is pretty simple. Um, so I'm going for the normal exit first. Like always. Just... Like, the easiest way to get to the normal exit is to... Make your baby Yoshi a normal Yoshi by eating all of these turtles, but make sure you don't eat. You leave one blue. And then you're just going to start flying. And just... Damn it. I failed. I failed badly. Really, really badly. Dang it! Just going to keep going like none of that happened. Th ah, crap. But I can't exactly keep going like that didn't happen. Honestly, it did kill me. Let's see if things go a bit easier this time. Alright, eat this turtle, eat this turtle. Eat this one, eat this one. Eat this one. Ah! I thought I was going to die. And now, just keep flying. And just don't stop flying. Right about here is when you're going to stop flying. And I have to make a cut. It was just getting really close to 10 minutes. And now I'm just going to push select. I hope I'll be able to get... Never mind. Oh, come on! I would, if I just got to there, my Yoshi would have been alive, and I'd be flying.
Well, here's the flag. Goal pole, whatever you want to call that. So now for the secret exit, which these last two you do need the yellow switch, the green the green switch, the red switch, and the blue switch pressed. So if you haven't gotten those, just pause the video and go do that. But if you have, follow along. Unless you're just watching this because you want to see how it works, because I do that a lot. Only there's no reason why I really shouldn't beat every level, so I don't see why you didn't beat the switches. Well, you don't necessarily have to beat the switches, I just don't see how anybody is good enough to beat this level without getting the switches. I mean, that's just crazy. I mean, the secret way. That would just be crazy if they beat it with... I mean, the, f the fifth level, I see how they have a very slim chance if they keep at it. They might be able to. You might be able to, but this one, no. Not a chance. So. Get a shell. But make sure you don't have your Yoshi eat it. Because you need to kick the shell at the block. Now you can get your Yoshi back. Yeah, I think I'm gonna test it. See if I can. Ah, that's frustrating. Whatever. Get the key and go to this. And that's what you need to do. And now this would actually be the last level. This world is actually going back, uh, going fast. Unlike most worlds. So let's keep going. I'm going to keep my finger nice and ready over the R button, just in case I need to kill my Yoshi. Just in case I need to make a Yoshi sacrifice. Alright, so now right here you're going to push right and just wait for that coin line to spread out, uh, to spread to the right. Wait for it to stop. I mean, you could go without waiting, but I'd say it's better if you wait. Now, just step on this and go, go, go. And bam! And I'll just get this. Nah, I guess I can't. Come on, beat the level. Oh, yes! Man, that fireball really helps. Sometimes. Like, specifically the Star World, it helps. And here, breathe fire. And right there. And that would be all for this level. So that now takes us over to the star. So now, if you haven't already beaten this, you ask, what, uh, what, where does the secret exit lead? Well, you're going to find out. So, uh, to get the secret exit, get the, um, you need to get the feather power up. You need, you need the cape. Basically, basically, um, it doesn't really matter what you have, you just need to be able to fly somehow. Blue Yoshi, cape, whatever you want, you just need to be able to fly. And don't get rid of your Yoshi yet to fly. 
Unless you're using the blue, uh, you, blue Yoshi, definitely don't get, don't get rid of your Yoshi. So, like, you don't need the Yoshi, I just say, uh, just to be safe, keep the Yoshi in case you die. Well, in case you're about to fall to your death. Like that. Or like that. Alright, so basically the point of that was to just get here. And now, just do this same thing, only trust me, it's going to be much shorter. And... Just in case something goes wrong, I'm going to make a save state. Save state. There we go. And now you're going to want your K power up or fly mechanism, whatever. And just start flying right here. Keep flying until you get here. And now this is where you want to be. So this is what I meant by you need those blocks. I mean, you might be able to fly through this, but I doubt it. I mean, like, you might be able to fly through that tiny crack, but really, the, but the chances are really slim. Like, so ridiculously small that I can't believe it. Like, if you have a Yoshi, you might be able to fly through this crack and then jump off of him. But, whatever. And then you're just going to pick up this key and bring it over to here. And this leads to this star road. Yes, it does lead to a star road. And that's how you beat Star World. And this actually leads to a special, the special zone. This is called gnarly, but like, huh? What happened to that? There's supposed to be like this little symbol up there, but like all these blue shiny spots, like you're not going to go through all of those that make up special, but like specifically those eight that shine in the middle, like gnarly and then the three to the right of it and the four on top those are specifically the ones that are going to be levels and none of these have secret exits so we wouldn't have to worry about that so that's all the levels we're doing for this episode so actually this is that path that you can only get if you beat star world before um, before uh, Va Valley of Bowser, and it's this path from this star road to Bowser's castle. So now, in this remaining a little over a minute that I have, I'm going to be walking all the way to the sunken ship. So. Let's walk all the way through the Forest Evolution and Chocolate Island, shall we? No, we shall not. But we shall. I just prefer this way with the pipe. Faster, in my opinion. So, that's how you beat the star world. So right here I'm just going to save and quit. So guys, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry my camera flipped out right there. See you guys next Wednesday when we play through Valley of Bowser.